Welcome once again. Right now we're at Titus chapter 3, verses 1 through 11. Godly living. Paul wrote to Titus, saying, Remind them to be in subjection to rulers and to authorities, to be obedient. Now, obviously, in context here, we are not to actually do what the authorities tell us to do if it's against God. To be ready for every good work. Notice how Paul is emphasizing good work again. To speak evil of no one, not to be contentious, to be gentle, showing all humility toward all men. One thing you notice while reading the scriptures, and that is that God is completely opposed to all natural human pride. Showing all humility toward all men. For we were also once foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving various lusts and pleasures. Think about how Paul words this, serving various lusts and pleasures. Like you're a servant to these lusts, like you're a slave. In fact, even Jesus himself said, if you sin, you are a slave to sin. Living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But when the kindness of God our Savior and his love toward mankind appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we did ourselves, but according to his mercy, he saved us through the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we might be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This saying is faithful, and concerning these things, I desire that you insist confidently, so that those who have believed God may be careful to maintain good works. Again, Paul emphasizes doing good works. So then, not putting a priority on doing good works is against New Testament doctrine. These things are good and profitable to men, but shun foolish questionings, genealogies, strife, and disputes about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. Avoid a factious man after a first and second warning, knowing that such a one is perverted and sinful, being self-condemned. Notice this is very much like how Jesus taught in Matthew chapter 18, that after confronting somebody for their offenses twice, then just treat them like an outsider. And may God bless you as you seek him, as you read the scriptures and meditate upon the scriptures. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will surprise you and show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.